Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, something I wanted to talk to uh, you guys about today is actually uh, how to deal with these red days. Uh, everybody, every single trader deals with the red day and just your mindset on how to move forward uh, is either going to help you succeed even more in trading or it's going to knock you down. So I'm just going to give out some tips and some things to actually help you in trading, especially with these red days and your mind uh, mindset and so forth. So um, one of the first things is actually understanding that it's a lesson. That is one of the most important things. If you just take it as a loss and you don't take away anything from it, um, you're actually losing more than you think. It is a lesson. So what you could actually do is kind of review your trading day and see some of the things that go on. So as you're reviewing your trades, you're going to get a lot of lessons and carrying those lessons on to your next, uh, like next few trading days or forever, depending on how big the mistake was. Um, yeah, that's going to definitely help you improve on your next trades. So definitely start reviewing your trades, especially on red days, see where you really went wrong and try to set a rule for yourself that helps you not do the same mistake in the next trades. Um, and after having um, a red day, and if you're consistently red, what I would recommend is definitely sizing down. What you do with sizing down, especially in options, uh, since it's a lot riskier, uh, size down, size down to one contract, two contracts, um, see how things go, see, gain your confidence back, gain your mindset back. Um, and once you're starting to become consistent again, there's no problem with sizing up again. Uh, it's just to preserve your capital and not risk too much. If you're having consistent red days, does it really make sense to keep trading with the same capital that you were before? Now, a lot of these smaller traders who are just getting in, um, what they're actually kind of doing is say they had a hundred thousand, 25,000, 50,000, whatever the case may be. This is why we tell our students and people in our discord to actually start off with maybe a thousand to 3000, anywhere between a thousand to $5,000 is a great way. Uh, it's like paying for a course actually. Um, and you're not risking too much. Yes, you won't get, gain rich overnight, but you will gain the experience and hopefully gain the consistency to keep on trading. Um, another thing to actually do on these red days is just to do some physical activity, whether it's running, jogging, uh, working out, uh, just doing something physical to kind of release that that tension um just that change your mood there's definitely just look it up on google there's a lot of benefits to exercising simple fact um and it, yeah uh that's one of the ways to kind of release the stress what i personally do is i'll either go to the gym or go for walks by the uh by the shore and uh just kind of meditate uh over there, meditation has been a big help to my journey. Um, just, you know, all that stress, just, you know, after a red day, you're like, yo, what, what do I do next? And this, I just lost a lot of money. Just meditate, keep calm, keep cool, keep collected and move on. Help progress, keep, ever, keep moving forward. Um, and if you're consistently, if you like had what I personally do, this is a rule I set for myself. If I have three bad trades, I am out of the picture. I get away from the screens and I just move on. It's either I'm a over trade, revenge trade, all, all the bad habits tend to come back to you because you're thinking from your emotions and that's, you truly do not want to do that. 
Uh, and the last and final thing that I usually do is I try to take a look at my past winning trades. Um, this helps me take a look at the bigger picture. So yeah, for example, for the past 20, 20 days, I'm up $1,000 each day, right? And so I'm up in the past 20 trading days, 20 grand, right? And today I take a big hit. I'm down $3,000, for example. Uh, yeah, in the short term during that day, that's all I'm thinking about. But now if I'm looking at the bigger picture, I'm still up 17K. Uh, it's just a small pullback, a small hump. And I'm looking to push forward. So you gotta look at the bigger picture. Every trader, no matter how successful they are in trading, has a red day. And that's just a part of the game. Um, I hope this video, guys, I hope it helps you guys. Um, please click that, smash that like button, uh, smash that subscribe button. And yeah, I'll be coming out with more videos just coming from my journey and everything going on in trading and just try to help you guys become better traders. All right, guys, trade confidently and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.